I've been working for five years, and not one time have I taken my equipment home. And I'm doing it tonight. We got college students in town. We got schools closed. Uh, these are all things that uh, we're worried about because we have so many people out here with free time on their hands. And uh, we're talking about agitators and peaceful protests. It's a bad mix. And, and now we're, we're just really on the edge of waiting to see what happens. But I can tell you for sure, 100%, if he's innocent, they're going to burn the city down. There's no doubt about it. The law authorizes a law enforcement officer to use deadly force in certain situations. Our business has lost 80% of our clientele. I made $1,000 in, in three months. This is horrible. And we, we, we've done nothing. I can't pay my bills. This is, this is bad for us. And I'm trying to find another job right now. It's holiday season right now. So my, my kids are going to have a very empty Christmas right now. St. Louis County Police conducted an extensive investigation at the crime scene. It, it's been hard for us. It's been hard for our families. And I'm just saying, uh, I, I just hope St. Louis keep us peace. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against officers. And returned a no true bill on each of the five indictments. Why not? Inside the vehicle, Mr. Brown is standing at the driver's window. During the altercation, two shots were fired. Look at him. He's gonna burn this motherfucking city down, dirty. Mr. Brown ran into him on Canfield and also Wilson Beach. This is Canfield and Copper Creek. Mr. Brown stopped towards Officer Wilson. Officer Wilson also stopped. As Michael moved toward Officer Wilson, several more shots were fired by the officer, and Michael Brown didn't I, I knew it was going to happen Some already. Admitted, and now, now look what we're going to have to deal with. They're going to burn this the city down tonight. I'm pissed. I'm angry. I'm angry. I ain't going to do it. But I feel like I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I feel it in my mouth. We knew what was going to happen the day he got shot. We knew what was going to happen. This is Everybody gotta go. Yo, ladies and gentlemen of law enforcement, I hope as many of you are listening to what's going on today as you can. Right now, I notice that there's not too many people addressing you directly. I know that as New York Police Department, you guys need to set the trend. We are here waiting for the grand jury decision from Ferguson, Missouri, um, on whether or not they're going to indict the cop who killed Mike Brown. Um, and just, we're here as part of a wider protest against racist police repression in the United States. It happens basically every day. Shut it down! We don't get it! Shut it down! And it's not about North and South. Yesterday, another black man got shot, like a couple of days ago, here in New York. The melting pot of, you know, America where every race is the same. I mean, so. If the people feel there's something wrong with the government, especially within the system, they have to grow it. Justice for! Life, Justice for! Life. Where do you think this march is going? I have no idea. I mean, it is, like, I, I, like I said, I just jumped into like with everybody else. followed them to Times Square. So now they're saying Harlem and I'm just, I'm going with it. I'm just, I'm not used to protesting. So I'm like not yelling or anything, but I'm just like disappointed in the whole situation. I'm very disappointed. 
and it, it makes me ashamed to be from this country. No peace! No justice! No peace! I think a lot of people are upset. I'm in particularly very upset about it. You can't just go shoot an 18-year-old who's unarmed on the street, despite what the story may have been. He was unarmed, and you are an armed law enforcement officer who's been trained in combat. So I think uh, people are rightfully upset, and it's becoming somewhat ridiculous the way it's been dragged out. They told us it'd be, they would tell us at 4 o'clock, then 6 o'clock, then 8 o'clock, then 8.15. It's been a long show with a very poor result. But listen, what do coming days bring? Because that's uh, what a lot of people are talking about. I think the next few days are going to be similar to this. I think they'll be peaceful for the most part, as you've seen tonight. There's a few bad eggs in the crowd, but that's just unfortunate. That happens with everything. The next few days will probably be like this because it's a grieving period. But I think after that is when we have an opportunity to really grow and change a lot of things and make sure his death didn't mean anything, nothing.